This bulldozer was made by the Clark Equipment Company in Buchanan. And this is the guy that drove it during the war, right here. He is the guy that drove it during the war. I was here talking to you yesterday, remember? I, yes, I believe I do. You said this is made at Clark Equipment Company. Didn't Correct. You? How many did they make? 1,300. 1,300. And you, you put this all together yourself, didn't you? The restoration, yes. Yeah. A ten, ten year restoration. Ten year restoration. Uh, did you work at Clark's or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, read that letter. Right on the corner. It sticks right out right there. Corner. Yeah, he worked. He worked at Clark's too. It's quite a story on yeah. the uh, development of this thing. Okay. Thanks a lot for the information. I'll be with you. Here's a deuce and a half. Big truck. They drew Tom. Uh, this is one of Tom Burks's trucks here. You you rode in them, didn't you? Oh hell yeah! At the deuce and a half. And here he is, right there. He rode that truck here. Yeah. That was my drove one too. You drove one too? Yep. That's the uh, wild hog right there. That's that's the Arkansas hog. On that deuce and a half. There's the cannon up on top. There's a 50 caliber machine gun up there. These are machine gun nests they had during the war. There's some kind of a vehicle they transferred troops in. There's a little transport troop thing there they transported them. There's a German Shepherd dog there. That's a war dog right there. I'll beam him in for you. That's the war dog right there. And we're just walking through here right now. There's camouflage netting up, and and uh, there's here's a little howitzer cannon sitting here. Uh, Tom, what size was this here? What was this here gun? You don't know what was this here? Like cannon. some kind of cannon? Yeah, <laughs> cannon. <laughs> Tom, he's my guide today. He knows about this military stuff more than me. And then here's the card here and, and uh, stuff here. I can get over just as fast. We're going to go in this tent here where all the memorabilia is. And I'm going to see if they want something I got for you. This is the woman in, this is the woman in charge right here. She's our guy. If you walk in here on this way is uh, World War One. you walk yourself all the way through time. Hey guys, do you have mom and dad? I got something here you might want. I brought it because I was going to throw it away and I, I don't know if you'd want it or not. It's, it's a, Open it up, open it up in the front. Here, open it up here. It's when the Germans surrendered. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I love that kind of stuff. See the price? Four cents. So you know it's old. And it's I just from Benton Harbor. I love yep, that. Yep, Benton Harbor, yep. Yep, because I have one from Grand Rapids, too. And my nephew found that and he brought it to the house. So I just bring it over here, you know. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you. I'm very much into my paperwork. Yep, let me get a picture of that there. I make a picture. That's it, right there. German surrender. These are all the uniforms they wore during the war. All the uniforms. There's Mr. Burke checking things out. There's a pair of skis. They wore them over where you were at, didn't they? Austria. Yeah. Yeah. But didn't they have a didn't they have a regiment over there? Did that? Yes. Did that ski yeah. nest? Right in our company. Oh well, I figured that. You was up there in the hills. And here's some more stuff. There's a saddle of the horses brigade. Right there's a picture of that. It's hard to see in here. It's a little dark. Here's some weaponry that they used during the wars. There's some there's an old Thompson sub there. Burp guns. Shotguns. 
This is all memorabilia stuff. From this, oh, what kind of outfit is that? That looks something like I would wear. Yeah. There's some guns there. That was like a flare gun there. That's a big one. What? Well, yeah, I said that looked like something I'd wear. Yeah. <laughs> How to make fun of me. There's some more weaponry. And I give them that newspaper there, and she's glad to get it. This is what we want, and I interpret it incorrectly. You come flying over me upset. She's got other old newspapers hanging in here where the zap. I have a truck. And you guys are hanging in here. And I want to make sure everybody's happy and satisfied. So. Oh, that's your bag. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just, we're just taking our time goofing around. Yeah, that's us. I don't want to get away picture, Oh, he, he, he makes the picture. <laughs> That's the bomb. That's the war release poster. Yeah. There's some more uniforms. I'm thinking, you know, I'm wondering if I waited We're out of here. See you later. This is a mortar outfit here. This is where they, they shoot the mortars up in the air and try to hurt you. And there's a thing that's a tip. And here's a here's a machine gun here. This 50 caliber. I think I'm not sure, but this is a. There's some mortars right there. Them are uh, bazooka shells there. That's a, that's the old bazooka there, Tom. Bazooka. They put them in there. Did yes. you ever shoot them or not? Yes, sir. Did you? Yes, sir. And this here is another type of machine gun nest they got over here with big shells that shoot stuff here and when it hurts you. There's some more military vehicles there. It's a Jeep like truck. This must be the communication tent here, Tom. There's your sleeping bag, Tom. Uh, this is a uh, hot in here, hot in these tents. Is that something? Is that it? Like it there? That's the mummy bag. Got the moon in there. I can see that. You know, you, you get caught in them there at night time, they come up and stab you, yeah. you're done. Yeah. Yeah. They have so many. There's their deuce and a half. Change the flag and have another conversation with them. And at that time, Dale said, we'll see you in 2010. And uh, they looked at him and said, aren't you coming uh, for uh, February 2000? No, we'll see you in 2011. Aren't you coming to in 2010? which was just coming up about three months later. And we said, yeah. So we went down. We have seen, been privileged to see Frank Buckles three times now, and we're going to go back next February. Anyways, David DeYoung was the one that gave Dale the telephone number to contact. David did a project four or five years ago where he went around the country, and over in his tent, he has some tremendous pictures of the last 12 living World War I veterans. And... Uh, Frank Buckles now is the last one in the United States, and there's only one other one in the world, in Australia, and from what we hear, he's having some health problems. So, anyways, David represents Frank Buckles. He also, in, two years ago, had an unveiling of his phot photography work in um, the Oval Office, and it, it's on his website. He also, him and his friend in Grand Rapids, when Gerald Ford's body was taken to Grand Rapids, uh, they were in charge of the funeral, uh, the arrangements and everything. And he took, um, when I met David a couple months ago, he was saying that when something happens to Betty Ford, that they have, they'll have the same honor of, of doing the service. So, this is like the dog memorial. This is all the dogs. The names and that it served in Vietnam.
Well, yeah, I guess the roundabout way we were flying slides up too. This is the dog. They're so the dogs. They were the guard dogs. Air bases, the larger air bases have six dollars. Mm. We're going to get.